hi guys karibuni karibuni on today's video and uh, today's video is a continuation of our previous video about avoiding this common mistake when feeding cows with banana stem but on today's video we are going to focus on management of a uh, of dairy cows in a dairy farm so karibuni karibuni guys and if you have not subscribed please subscribe down below and also like this video karibuni let's continue learning we talk about management in a dairy farm okay. there are very many sections you have to manage mm. one you have to manage uh, uh, the AI's programs mm. which involve selecting the board mm. and also picking on a, an experienced event doctor mm -hmm. so that you don't have you don't have to keep repeating your cow mm. repeating serving your cow mm. management includes uh, selecting the board mm. you that means you must have a catalog mm -hmm. and know the bull you want Mm. The AI person should, the AI, the AI doctor should not come and uh, give your cow winning. Mm. And see many you want. Mm. We will make sure we know what you want mm. and we look for it. We would rather our cow wait until we get what we want. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, the other section of management is uh, managing the lactic cows, those that are being milked. Mm. This one's are very sensitive on that. If you don't do that, you will not get enough milk. Mm. They must be given for at least twice, twice in a day. Mm. Very early in the morning mm. and uh, late in the evening after milking in the evening. Mm. Mm. Then uh, you must also get them for the daily meal. For the daily meal, for the salt. Mm. The other management is on health. Yeah. The biggest challenge we have experienced here, and because our animal shed is a bit hot, mm. is food rot. Mm. But it's easy to control with the with the chemicals. Mm. Although now when you sprinkle chemicals there, mm. you have to suspend putting any dung in the biogas. Because it will affect. It will affect the bacteria in the biogas. Mm. Mm. Management also include the training of those cows so that they don't knock one another. Mm -hmm. They must know to obey mm -hmm. and respect each other. Mm -hmm. By the way, cows are like dogs. You can easily learn if you are very keen. Mm -hmm. You can see we have not separated them. Yeah. They, are, they are feeding together. Yes. We train them. Where they are difficult, we tie all of them with a cow, with a, with a, with a rope. Mm -hmm. When they are eating, in the, in the same place. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where the cow is eating, you tie it there. Mm -hmm. When it is through, you untie. Mm -hmm. Those that want to go to sleep, they can sleep. That is the one that has not taken enough mm -hmm. can continue. When you tie them, mm -hmm. they will not keep moving up and down. Okay. They will eat consistently, competing with one another. Mm -hmm. So when you come and find they are not eating, mm -hmm. they miss out eaten enough. Mm -hmm. So you untie them. Mm. Make sure the string hang on the neck. Mm. You release them, they take water. Mm. Then some will go to bed, others will continue adding a little. Mm. That's a part of management. Okay. The other management is on milking. Mm. Milking and marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, cows are like children, I said, or chicken. Yeah. Yeah, the worker should be very close to them. They should be very friendly. Mm. And if we don't have any sequence of milking them, mm. we can start on any. Mm. Uh, we do our milking from uh, 5 to around 6 30. Then uh, take milk to the dairy. Mm -hmm. The next milking is done at uh, between 3 and 4. Mm. That milk we give it the neighbors. Mm. There are fam a number of families that pick uh, their family milk from us. Mm. Then the last milking is at the eight to nine. In the evening. In the evening. Mm. 
that one we save keep it for the day the following day mm. uh, but the, you don't mix the morning and the evening milk mm. no they are taken separately okay. uh. so in terms of the market uh, like in the morning do you sell to a cooperative or, or what is your ways of selling in the morning one we take to the cooperative mm. we take our milk to Mboinger on day Cooperative society. Mm. Initially, we used to take it to Med Central, mm -hmm. but uh, we found it easier to change to Bunjero Day Cooperative. Mm. The one that we market around, there are some neighbors who come for theirs, mm. the others that we take to them, it's not far. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. And the one that we sell mm. within, mm. It's more, has more money. Mm -hmm. That's more money than the one to the daily. Mm -hmm. Then uh, management of it. Mm -hmm. These days we don't have any quality in the daily. In no? the shops. In the shops. Nobody should cheat you. Because of the cost of preparation. Mm -hmm. So you have to add quality to your daily meal. Mm -hmm. By buying uh, supplements. Mm -hmm. like, like this jam. Like soya, mm. like sunflower, mm. eh, coconut. Mm. Coconut. Uh, eh, coconut is in the uh, in the even oh. a, even even uh, macadamia. Oh, okay. And so people grind them. Okay. Eh, fish meal mm. and uh, we don't buy. In, we don't, we don't buy bone meal. Mm -hmm. If you had to be feeling our cows with human meat. Bones. Bones. <laughs> That's a queer belief. <laughs> mm. So do you buy all of them now? You, 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 some people sell them in a pack together, mm -hmm. in a 10 kg bag. All, 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 of, them, all, all of them mixed. Mm -hmm. So at one round, you need all of them. What mm -hmm. we do here is we buy a sack of dairy meal, mm -hmm. a sack of mist jam, mm -hmm. a sack of uh, bran, mm -hmm. a sack of dairy cube, mm -hmm. then uh, those uh, concentrate, mm -hmm. plus around five or seven kgs of salt. Mm -hmm. some, there are some other chemical items you put there, mm -hmm. which assist the cows to Digest like diamond wheat, mm -hmm. so we mix them together. Mm -hmm. That makes the work easier for the one who's milking. When you give them, when you give them the feeds, okay. they have everything. Oh, okay. mm. So you mix them together. Then like, when you take, like when you take mukimo, mukimo has almost everything. Yeah. Everything put together, and like you got it is just maize. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Let me understand. Mm -hmm. okay. The preventive measures. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I may not have a lot to say about the vaccination. Mm -hmm. The government has to put up on that. Mm -hmm. Because it's a government controlled program. Yeah. They are the one who provides the vaccine. Like recently, there was a vaccine for, for foot and mouth. Mm -hmm. But the, the vaccine is there a few thousand in the building and it's a few. Oh, it's rare that we get uh, a visit from an uh, agricultural officer. Mm. And the vaccination is limited to only the government workers. Mm. But when there is that general vaccination, mm. we make sure we have also done it for our cows, mm. for all those diseases mm. that are vaccinated. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. Like rampe, rampe skin disease, mm. uh, foot and mouth. Mm. I think they are number. Mm. It's not common here. Mm. Some of those diseases are not common in a zero, zero grazing mm. because most of them are airborne. Mm. A farm like this one is totally sealed. Mm. So it's very hard to. And because they transfer by air. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so on most cases, 
It's easy to hear that this is in the village, but you cannot find it in uh, a shed like this one. Mm. So the cows are not in the open. They also don't get that wind mm. direct wind. Mm. Mm. That is a vehicle we use for transporting milk to the market. Mm. That one. And I think it is older than all of you. <laughs> it has around that three years. We agree. For me, I agree. <laughs> This car is when we use it for carrying the feet. Okay. Mm. Yes. So it's easier to be able, especially transporting the milk, it's easier to milk. Yeah, when you milk, at that time when we were milking around 120 liters mm. in the morning, you cannot carry it with the hands. Yeah. So we use that. Even now, when we are not milking so much, mm. we still use it. But that when you come to the paper, you can carry it with it's, basic, it's basically for that. Mm. I just want to, want to want to pop into the chamber far. Mm. It's cheaper because they consume very little. Mm. Okay. If you have watched until this far, I really, really thank you so much. And uh, see you next time in our next video. Bye-bye.